my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this is gonna be another get ready with me. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So I'm back with another video. I wanted to use some new products that I picked up as well as some OD but goodies. And I just wanted to do a glam look. As you can see, this is more of a evening out type of look with some lashes. And I really do like how the look came out. So I used the new Natasha Denona Retro Palette and I used the Lord Jones CBD oil. And the reason that I used that oil is because I wanted to pair it with Huda Beauty's new foundation and the reason I want to do that is because this one is very mattifying and I figured if I applied an oil to it that would kind of help things however it didn't this oil is made for oily skin, skin. And combination skin and it's supposed to control your oil production as well as keep your pores clear and unclogged I do like it I gotta do say that it's kind of smells like tea tree oil I also use Oma's by Sharon C brow products I did I did use two liners from Too Faced. I did use the Jacqueline Hill Under Eye Setting Powder and this is in Apricot. I do feel as though this may be too deep. Um, I have to work with it some more. And I also paired it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. I did use the House of Siage. Uh, they sent me over their Disney collection and out of the Disney collection I did, isn't this the cutest stuff? But anyway, out of the Disney collection I used this blush. I'm not even sure if you can see see it <laughs> I don't think you can see it on my skin tone and they sent over some lipsticks and I'll show it more in the video so anyway if you're still interested let's get into the look all right y'all so I'm back with another video and I got all my makeup here and yeah I also have a little snack even though it's not quite snack time look at this I've got some salsa and chips and we about to go to town oh yeah and I do have my water and I know you're like Bridget this is not a um, eating show or a, or a, a mukbang. Am I saying that correctly? Anyway, I digress. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with the oil. And you all know that I always share at least one or two skincare products before I do a get ready with me. This was sent to me complimentary. It's gonna be the Lord Jones CBD face oil. So this oil has so many good ingredients in it. It's got tea tree oil, jojoba oil. It's got blue tansy oil. And those oils will just basically leave you with visibly clear skin without clogging your pores. It is a full spectrum CBD oil and it does have squalene in it as well. Now, as far as the scent with this one, you can smell the tea tree oil, okay? And I do have to say it does dissipate. It, it kind of sticks with you for a little bit. And I'm hoping once I add this, it will make the foundation feel a little bit better. All right, and so this is what it's looking like on the skin. As you can see, it doesn't look like oily. It almost looks as though I put a moisturizer on and it is targeted towards oily and combination skin. And it just says that for the people that have oily skin, it is going to do a good job of uh, preventing you from producing the extra sebum. So yeah, I like it. So yeah, now I'm going to go in with my foundation. And this is Huda's new foundation. This, um, I got this shade around the winter time. So you all will see that it is extra light. The shade that I have it in is Churro. And you all already know what the packaging looks like. And I'm trying to find, I wanna put it on with a brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a very dense brush to apply this. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like so. And just in case you're curious what the shade looks like, this is it. What I didn't like about this foundation is that it was so drying. It does provide like super coverage. So, you know, if that's your jam, definitely go for it. And as you can see, it is on the lighter side. So yeah, this looks so much different from when I did the review because I didn't use an oil. I did use my regular skincare, but I didn't use an oil. So I had the oil and I was thinking, let's go ahead and try the Huda foundation. 
All right, so in the spirit of Miss Huda, I'm going to use her tan tour. This is it right here. This is the shade that I have. And then here's the shade again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get this in my hairline. And just to let you know, the consistency on this is, um, it's really thick. It doesn't have a lot of slip to it. So yeah, if you have, I would say like oily skin and you're looking for a cream product that's just not going to produce a lot of oil for you or just not overly oily or hydrating I would definitely say to check this one out all right next we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer I will put the shade on the screen this is what the packaging looks like and this is the shade let me swatch it that's it swatch so I'm just gonna put a little right here a little right here and let's see first what she's talking about and so far so good I actually like it let me look closer in the mirror let me give me a little compact yeah so far so good I'm going to do like I always do you all just add a little here here and here All right, so now this is what we got. And let me just add a little bit more under my eyes. And I know you like Bridget. That's a lot of bit more. Yes, it is. <laughs> Cause I'm a, today I'm being extra, not extra, extra. Today I'm gonna be extra. All right, so moving on. Now we're gonna go in with the under eye setting powder and I elected to get this powder by Jaclyn Hill. This is her brightening powder and this is in the shade Apricot. Here is the packaging. Here's the shade. And I just wanted to try this because I like the powder that she has so much. So I just wanted to see if maybe I would get the same results with her under eye powder so I think she only has like two or three shades in this it's not a lot at all so I'm just gonna get a little bit in my cap like this and use my sponge and I have no idea how this is gonna turn out because this powder does have like to me maybe like peachy undertones well it seems like it's got the same undertones as this concealer it doesn't look like you get a lot either and i'm gonna put some here here and up here all right so let me check this out in the mirror and see it actually looks good up close i like it Now let's get into this Natasha Denona palette. There's a story behind this palette. I don't even know if I feel like going into it, but y'all already know what it looks like. This is the packaging and here are the shades. Really pretty. For those of you all who are familiar with my channel, you know that I love Natasha Denona. Anything Natasha Denona, I don't care. I don't care if it's a sock. <laughs> Okay, I'm being funny now, but anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this little baby. The first shade I'm going to use is this one. Y'all know without my glasses on, I can't see anything. So I'm just going to put this. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't really expecting that one. It's interesting because this is showing up deeper upon than what it's what I actually see in the pan and I'm not getting any fallout I'm just using a little BH cosmetic brush nothing special nothing expensive let me use the shade next and I'm just using another BH cosmetics brush
and this is a little bit denser brush I want to use this just so I'd have a little bit more control all right so I'm gonna go back in with that first shade and the brush and just kind of blend that out and I'm gonna put a little bit more back in here in the crease And then I'm gonna go back in with the first brush with a little bit more of that first shade and just kind of blend this out. I'm gonna use this shade right here. Now this is shocking. I would expect this shade to be, to come out darker than what Oh goodness, I'm getting some fallout. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the shade right here. And I'm going to just apply this right here. Right over that, I'm going to apply this shade. And I do have two products that I want to try, and these are the Oma uh, by Saren, Sharon C. They are right here. I'm not sure if you all can see it on your end, but I have glitter everywhere. So anyway, these are cool. You get a brush on one end, and you get the gel on the other. And I picked up two shades, so I think I'm going to go in with shade three. And I'm just going to fill in my brows just a little bit. And for the price, I think these are really good. Um, I'm rolling the dice using <laughs> the gel. I'm just gonna fill them in just a little bit. We're gonna keep it safe and stop it there. Now I'm going to just kind of highlight under my brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with the same concealer and I'm just gonna use a little bit of it and I'm gonna highlight right up under here. And I'm gonna take a clean brush and blend that out. And then I'm gonna go back in <laughs> and with the same brush, I'm gonna just kinda clean off the brush a little bit and just kinda go back up here. And I'm just trying to smoke it out and get it looking as soft as possible. And then for my waterline, I'm going to go in with this killer liner. I think this is in cashmere. This is it right here. And there's a swatch of it right there. All right, and then for the lower lash line, I'm gonna add this on my lower lash line. And I'm only gonna stop it about midway. I'm not gonna go all the way across. For the inner lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with this shade. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera, do the other side and add some lashes, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back and, oh my goodness. I still do not like this foundation right here. Even with the oil, this Lord Jones CBD oil mixed, you know, me applying this first and then this, it's still, in person I still feel like I look like the Crypt Keeper. It just doesn't, this foundation doesn't look good on me at all. If you're out there and you like this foundation, Huda Beauty's new, um, what is it, hydrating? I don't remember the name of it. If you like it and it works for you, let me know. Um, let me know your technique. Maybe my technique is all wrong, but it doesn't look good on me in person. I just don't like it. What I did add under my, on my lower lash line was the killer liner. As you can see, I took that cashmere shade off because 
it just wasn't looking right. So, well, not off, but I just went over it with Sapphire. And I add some lashes and I filled in my brows a bit more. They're not like how I typically do them, but you know, it's, it'll work. So anyway, I'm gonna dip into this little collection that House of Siad sent me this summer, but I never did get a chance to use. They had sent me their Disney collection and this is just gorgeous. It just opens up like this. And then, um, let's see. And here you have the complete Disney collection. It's an eyeshadow palette in here and a blush if I'm not mistaken and some lip products, but I'm gonna go into the blush. But just so you know, this is what, I think this is the eyeshadow palette. This is the outer packaging. That is so stinking cute. And here are the shades. I'll probably use this in another get ready with me. This one comes in a nice pretty sleeve. Again, same cute packaging and here is the blush, and I guess it's a highlight. So I'm gonna swatch these. Here they are on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush or a powder brush for the, for the blush. I don't know if y'all can see it. So next I'm gonna go in with my Fashion Fair Iconic Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna take my sponge and go into it just like this. It's still damp. And I know you're like, Bridget, you're already powdered. You're already, I'm like, I already look like the Crypt Keeper. So <laughs> I just want to see how this works or show you all. I did do a review on this. I will link it somewhere so you can check it out. But I just love this powder. This powder is so nice. And remember y'all, it's got some good ingredients in it. I think this powder has hyaluronic acid in it. I think it does. And to me, I just kind of feel like it has some blurring effects as well. All right, so now I'm going to, what am I going to go in? So now I'm going in with the highlighter and I'm using both of these. This is a Tarte highlighter. It comes in a little pot like this. You all remember these. And there's the highlighter, really pretty. And if I have to deepen it up, I'm gonna go in with this Becca highlighter. I can't see the shade. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. All right, enough of that. All right, so now <laughs> I'm going, what am I missing? All right, and for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown bronzer. I haven't used this in like a gazillion years and this is in natural. Here it is right here. So now I'm gonna go in with lips. I'm gonna take my Sephora Gel Lip Liner and I'm gonna line my lips. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this Milk Makeup Lipstick. Comes a little bullet like this. Comes in a bullet like this, and there's the shade. And I like the way that feels. Feels really good. Let me add some more lip liner. I'm just always messing up. I messed up my lipstick. All right, so that combo is really pretty. Look at that color. All right, so I'm just gonna go over my face with a big fluffy brush just to kind of blend everything together. All 
And I'm going to use my Maracuja Miracle Mist. You all are familiar with this. Really nice. And So yeah, this is the final look. Let me know if you've used any of these products down below. I'd love to hear about it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and consider sharing my video with a friend. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.